Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time you guys are watching this. We are currently at the final car show of 2021. Um, I am the only one here at this point because, simple answer, I was actually in charge of it this year. Uh, it kind of <clears throat> came with a surprise. Uh, the lady who usually did it was not able to do it this year, so my dad is the pastor of the church. And uh, they're like, hey, do you wanna do the car show this year? I'm like, yeah, sure. So, um, another guy and myself um, kind of got together and uh, got the car show ready. I got the car here, got it all polished up, and I'm gonna go over here and show you our trophies. All right, here you guys go. So we have, of course, we have third place. We have first place, we have second place, then we have the Pastor's Choice Award, which my dad would be the one to choose that one. And then of course we have the best in show. First place is not best in show. First we have first, second, third, and then we have the absolute number one uh, best in show. Um, got coffee going here. The other gentleman went to get um, coffee, uh, sorry, donuts. And um, we're ready to go. And in case you're wondering why uh, the video quality might look a little different might look a little better i don't know i'm not sure uh, i brought my gopro along but um apparently you have to have an sd card installed for it to record i took my sd card out a couple weeks ago to um, edit a video and forgot to put it back in so now i can't record my gopro i have the gopro but i can't record so i'm using my phone so i hope the quality is up to your standards want to give you guys a real quick fair warning too um there will be a dj here playing a lot of music therefore i really can't um put video clips in the video of the music playing in the background because of copyright stuff. So I might not be able to actually do a lot of talking about the cars as I'm walking around, uh, but I can definitely film them and put some background music in um, and maybe some words on the screen if I need to explain something. But um, we'll, we'll see what we can get into here. But I think it's gonna be a fun day. Fellas, it's about to get real. We just had some homemade donuts dropped off here and um, there's still no one here. So I think these might all be mine. Ladies and gentlemen, so sorry I wasn't able to like get a whole lot of the footage there. Again, they're playing music the whole time, so I really can't, I can't talk about the cars. Um, what I'm going to do though is um, put a few pictures of cars up, um, just to tell you guys a real quick story about them. It's really cool. I love I love car events like that because, um, especially um, whenever a lot of the older guys come out, um, because they, have, they usually have some pretty cool stories, especially if they had the car for a long time. And I just I've always been. My wife and I have a lot of um, friends who are like, you know, senior citizens and up. Um, and uh, we, I just I just enjoy talking to them. A lot of them like to talk and I love to listen um, and hear their stories. So great time. Um, but I had a great time. <laughs> the uh, was when I, when I got there, it was still dark. Um, but I, I quickly went out and cleaned my car with my, you know, Adam's polishes stuff. Took all of my rags and um, got it all cleaned up, all polished up. They were calling for 15% chance of rain all day long, which of course means it's not gonna rain, right? No, 
So it was like nine o'clock, 9.30. I'm outside, I'm like, it feels damp. Like, I, like every once in a while you'd, you'd feel a raindrop, you know, every couple seconds. And then I'm like, okay, so I checked the radar. Still a radar shows nothing. And then by like 10, it was raining pretty good to the point where I had to go out and put my roof on. So I went out and just put the roof on, put the windows up. I didn't attach the roof because I knew I'd take it off later. Um, so the car got all wet. And then all the other guys, when it was done raining, they went out and, you know, polished their cars up, had everything ready to go. My problem was all my rags were already used, wet, dirty, back in a bag. So I had nothing to use to clean it back up. Um, but it still looked really good uh, for, for, just, for just raining. So I didn't do anything to the car. Uh, but this probably was like the last event I'll take the car to at all um, this year. And I still have a bunch of stuff I'm going to do to it here during the winter wintertime. Um, so stick around. Um, now that I have a garage and I have heat and everything out here now, um, I do plan on doing a few things this year. I didn't do anything last year, uh, mostly because we were still getting a lot of things out of the house. I'm still working on the house here, um, but I'm hoping to do a couple things to the car. The one thing I have to do, which I will tell you in a later video, uh, the car will not pass Pennsylvania State Inspection this year uh, until I get it fixed. That's a whole story, which we'll go over at some point. All right, so there's two cars in particular that I want to give a real brief uh, description of. Um, a little background on, and the first car is this silver one right here. This is a Chevy. Uh, I forget what year it was. Fifty one, I believe. Fifty or fifty one. Um, the the gentleman who had this car actually was actually looking through a Snap On magazine. I'm sorry, Snap On calendar one time, and he saw this car um, at the top of one of the the months. And he's like, you know what? I really want a car that looks just like that. So he went out and found a car. Uh, you know, just like it, but it wasn't the same color, didn't have the same wheels, um, wasn't lowered like it was. So he, he bought the car and he's able to lower it and he made it look exactly like what he saw on a snap-on calendar. And I thought that was a really cute story. Um, cause I'm, I'm just trying to imagine him looking at this calendar and be like, oh man, I wish I had a car that looked just like that. And then he goes out and finds the car, finds someone to do all the work. And now he has the car that he saw on a calendar. I thought that was really, really cool. The second car I want to talk about is this purplish, bluish, whatever color you want to call it. Um, this guy um, was super, super excited to win the Pastor's Choice Award. Um, he actually just got this just a few months ago. And um, believe it or not, he actually had it shipped here from Hawaii. So he actually bought it in Hawaii, paid to have it shipped over here, and now it's his car. So as you can see here in the back, uh, the entire inside, the entire interior, um, the walls, the floor, even up front there um, is flowers everywhere. It's a very Hawaiian-esque uh, car. It definitely looks like it came from Hawaii. Um, and he, even on the side here, even has some words written on the side and uh, blue Hawaiian. And uh, on the top, as you guys probably also noticed, was a surfboard. Um, I don't know if the surfboard came with the car. I doubt it. I'm pretty sure if I remember correctly, he told me that he did put it on there himself after he got it. Uh, but this guy was super nice to talk to uh, and extremely, extremely excited to win his very first award um, for this car, even though he's only had it for a short period of time. But I think if he keeps going to car shows, he might see a couple more awards for that car. All right, guys. So right before I finish this video, I did want to say, in case any of you guys are wondering, I know I have quite a few local-ish people um, who are subscribers on my channel, and I really appreciate you guys subscribing. Um, I was actually going to invite anyone who wanted to come to this car show um, for my YouTube channel, but the guy who had been there all the previous years had told me that they only have enough spots for 60 cars, um, and um, two, two years ago when we had it, we actually had 45 cars. So I... I, I I don't know how this is going to come across, um, but I didn't want to announce it on YouTube and have a bunch of people locally because there could be possibly 10 or 15 guys that are local to my area, like within an hour drive that sh could have showed up. And I, the worst thing would have been to me have to tell them, sorry, not enough room. Uh, hopefully you can come next year. So I didn't want to um, have anyone come and not be able to stay for the show because they don't want any cars parking in the grass. They want them just in the driveway. And they don't want it super cluttered. Uh, not my rule, theirs. Um, but because we only had, uh, I think we had 24 cars this year, um, which it'll probably be a little better next year because, you know, we're getting, slowly getting better um, back into things after COVID. Um, but next year, I fully intend on inviting um, you guys from my channel uh, to come. Uh, I would absolutely love and be honored to have you guys there for a car show that I'm helping put together. And actually... Just got word this past week 
that um, the gentleman who I helped this year with it um, actually is not going to do it next year. Um, so it's now my dad and I's car show, uh, which is really cool. Uh, might bring some cool opportunities for the channel here in the, in the next coming years. Uh, time will tell. But um, next year, it will be a car show that my dad and I will be putting together um, for his church. Um, so yeah, stay tuned to that. I know it's another 12 months away, 11 months away. Um, but next year, hopefully you guys can come out and that would just warm my heart to see you guys there. Um, and I don't think we're gonna have any problems. I don't think we're gonna have any problems with uh, having not enough room um, because if I'm in charge of it, park in the grass. Before I end this video, I just wanted to give you guys a quick reminder that I am selling key tags, as you guys can see here. Um, I, I still have like 30 of them left. I've sold 24, 25. Um, and thank you guys so much for your support. It means a lot. But here is the key tag. It's just a simple C4. And on the back, it says Dulop. So if you want to have Dulop in your pocket, there you go. Um, thank you guys again for everyone who has bought one. Um, it's, it's really, really cool to get a notification on your phone. It says, hey, you sold a key tag. Um, some dude in Arizona or some dude in California. Uh, I actually just sold one yesterday. I have not get it, got it shipped out yet, but I'm, I'm hoping to get that out here um, on Monday because today is a Saturday. Post office is not closed. Anyways, just want to remind you guys I do have these for sale on eBay. If you go to eBay and just type in Dulop, they'll be there, and it's also in the description below. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, it's, like I said, it's the last event I'm going to go to. I wasn't able to do a whole lot of talking, um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. If you guys did not like this video, I'm sorry. Please give it a thumbs up anyways. Please subscribe and hit the notification bell so you're notified every time I post a video. Take care now. See you later. Bye.